Okay, time to move on to Exylvania. Definitely a close second behind the Solar Empire um, when it comes to choosing a favorite army. Their COs are great, and they're the bad guys, which for some reason makes them more awesome. I don't know. Also, they have really wonky vehicle designs, which is fun. So, looking at the Rifle Grunt right now, he didn't change too much from the first game. He seems to have more... Um, things on his backpack, and he's more detailed in general, which is pretty much the case with, I think, all infantry in Battalion Wars 2 when you compare it to the first game. And also their colors are more vibrant, which is something that's also pretty universal for every army in the second game when you compare it to the first one. Oh, and also real quick, since we just got to the Acid Gas Veteran, he's the only unit in the whole game that kept his unique name from the first game. Because in the first game, every veteran unit for Exylvania had their own names. So uh, the Bazooka was Rocket Veteran, the Flame was Acid Gas, the Anti-Air was Akak, the Mortar was Grenade, and Assault was Minigun. But for some reason in the second game, they got rid of all of those and just gave them the same uh, names as the other armies, except for the Acid Gas Veteran. Probably because it wouldn't make very much sense for him, because his, you know, his weapon stands out more than anybody else's because it shoots green flame instead of red. And then additionally, the Solar Empire's Flame Veteran was called the Plasma Veteran in the first game, but he also has just changed to flame in this one. Which I know I've talked about before, I think it was in my Exylvanian modding video. And I think it's weird because the Solar Empire Flame Vet also looks different because his flame is not fire, it's like plasma stuff. But anyway, so this is the recon for Exylvania. As you may have noticed, it's using their heavy recon model from the first game. And it only shows up in one mission, which is the co-op mission Herman's Heroes. I think it's still called Herman's Heroes in this game. And even though they have a light recon model, um, they still use the heavy recon model for that co-op mission, probably just to keep it similar to how it was in the first game, is my guess. Also something interesting to note, that Koopa brought up in my Solar Empire video, I, I think it was the Solar Empire one. Actually, I think it was the Western Frontier video. But anyway, he mentioned that Exylvania had all of the units in the first game except for the Light Recon. That was the only one they were missing. And the Frontier actually has all of the units in the first game. All the possible units. And in the second game, Exylvania has all of them except for the Naval Transport, because now there isn't even a Light Recon, there's just a Recon. And Western Frontier once again has all of the units available in this game, even though three of them don't end up showing up at all. So, just kind of a fun fact. But also, we just passed the Battle Station. I want to bring this up again. I always thought it was weird how the Exylvanian Battle Station has light tank turrets on the sides, because the Frontier Battle Station, and I think all the other Battle Stations as well, have Bazooka Vets. But... Specifically, just the Exylvanian one has light tank turrets, and I haven't actually checked the damage values, but I would assume it's stronger than the bazooka turrets that the other ones have. So that's kind of interesting, and in the first game I wouldn't be surprised at all if it was just straight up stronger, because the first game was way less balanced. But in the second game, it would be kind of weird, because there's a skirmish level where it's Tundra and Exylvania, and they both have a battle station, so... I kind of doubt they would let Exylvania have a better battle station. So, definitely worth looking into. And also, for a lot of Exylvania's vehicles in the second game, they were changed. I would say buffed in most cases. Because, like, in the first game, their gunships had really bad accuracy. And their bomber had a really slow drop rate on the bombs, and their artillery was really prone to, like, overshooting, more so than uh, the Frontier's artillery. Like, the Exylvanian artillery was really bad about actually hitting targets, 
And also, uh, speaking of their bomber, it's right here, and it only shows up in one level, and it's only online. I actually really like their bomber though. It has this cool humming noise it makes when you're flying around in it, which is neat. And then here we have the Strato Destroyer, also only makes one appearance in this game. I mean, it didn't make a lot of appearances in the first game, I think it only showed up like twice. But only shows up in the last mission of Battalion Wars 2. And again, you never get to use the Strato Destroyers in this game, so it's unfortunate. But in general, it seems like Exylvania doesn't use their air units nearly as much as they did in the first game. Especially bombers, because their bombers showed up a lot in the first game. And in the second game, it only shows up in one online level. But, on the bright side, their naval units show up a fair amount. I mean, more than the bomber or strato destroyer, at least. The frigate only shows up in two levels. But, like, the battleship shows up in three. And the dreadnought also shows up in three. I think. And one more thing I'll talk about before the video's over, because it's going to be over pretty soon, is in the first game, you only got to play as Exylvania in the bonus mission. And in the second game, they don't have a campaign, which is unfortunate. But at least you have online missions. Like, I'm glad that they give you a lot of opportunities to play as them online. So you actually do end up getting to use most of their units online. The only ones you don't get to use are the Mortar Veteran, the Recon, the Fighter, and the Strato Destroyer. And the Mortar Vet, I'm pretty sure about. I'm like almost positive you don't get to use them. Because I think I checked all the online levels and he doesn't show up in any of them. Well, actually, that's not true. He does show up in an online level. It's the third co-op level. But he's your enemy, so yeah. And that's actually it for Exylvania. Which means that's it for my unit dossier videos. I actually still plan to upload a video of the concept art, because at this point, why not? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the unit dossier, and uh, I'll see you in whatever I do next.